Hey everyone, it's Dr. Joyce Park, board certified dermatologist. And this week I wanted to do a rundown of some of my favorite products that are on sale during Derm Store's annual anniversary sale, where you can get up to 25% off of a lot of different bestsellers. And I think double points rewards on certain brands so that you can use those points for money off in future purchases. A lot of Derm favorite brands are included in this anniversary sale, which is why I wanted to just round up some of my favorite products and try to talk about some products that I haven't really given as much attention to before. So first off, I wanted to talk about the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It is this very, very luxurious feeling cleansing balm that just melts into your hand. And I like using this when I have a full face of makeup on. Like for example, last week I did a photo shoot with a brand that I will be sharing more about very soon, but I had a full face of makeup on like foundation and lots of eyeshadow, eyelash glue, the whole thing. And at the end of the day, it really felt so good to go in with my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, melt it into my hands using the warmth of my hands, and then kind of like massage it all over my skin. And it just melts into my skin. And what I love about this product is, of course, it does a good job of removing my makeup, dirt, grime, sunscreen, debris, whatever has collected on my face from the day. But it also leaves my skin feeling really, really soft and hydrated. And it feels very luxurious as I'm giving myself the massage. There is a smell to it, so if you are sensitive to smells, this may not be the product for you, but I personally really like this scent, and it's their signature scent. I am not averse to scents. I like fragrance in my products, so I enjoy it here. Ingredients-wise, this balm also contains a brown algae called Pavina pavanica, found off of the coast of the Mediterranean, which helps to support hydration in the skin, elderberry oil, which also helps with that hydration, and and with taking off your makeup and star flower oil interestingly I have never heard of this before but it contains high concentrations of gamma linoleic acid which is important to your skin health and keeping it supple and soft this Elemis pro collagen cleansing balm is a pricey product it's $68 but it's currently 20% off I believe as part of the anniversary sale so this would be a splurge item or a good item to buy as a gift next two quick sunscreen picks from Elta MD the first is Elta MD U UV Clear, which is always one of my recommendations for patients who have rosacea or acne prone skin. And the reason for that is because it contains niacinamide, which can help with both acne and rosacea. It's also an antioxidant. It can also help brighten up some dark spots and scars. This one is zinc oxide 9% and octanoxate 7.5%. So it is a hybrid sunscreen with a mineral sunscreen component and a chemical sunscreen component as well. This one is oil free, non comedogenic, so it doesn't clog your pores really great for oily acne prone skin and it also contains some hyaluronic acid to help hydrate your skin the other sunscreen I wanted to highlight from Elta MD is UV elements I actually have this one here with me it is a tinted version and this one is a broad spectrum SPF 44 with hyaluronic acid this one contains zinc oxide 10% titanium dioxide five and a half percent this is a pure mineral sunscreen it's also non comedogenic and they say that it has antioxidants and I looked at the ingredient list, it actually contains ascorbyl palmitate, which is a vitamin C ester. Out of all of the different types of vitamin Cs that exist, and there's a lot, right? There's like L-ascorbic acid, there's tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, there's MAPS, SAPS, all of those. I would say that ascorbyl palmitate is probably my least favorite because the evidence for it is not as strong as some of the other ones, like our holy grail, L-ascorbic acid. So while this product does contain some of that ascorbyl palmitate, that vitamin vitamin C ester, I wouldn't depend on this product as my primary form of vitamin C. I would still use my own vitamin C, a more potent formulation underneath this sunscreen. What I like about this sunscreen though is the tint and how easy it rubs in. So I'll just show you guys here on my hand and you can see it rubs in really nicely. It feels very hydrating. It's not firm, it's not sticky, it's not hard to rub in. I don't have to spend a long time rubbing it in and I really do think it has a very universally flattering tint, which a lot of people say that they have difficulty finding a mineral sunscreen that doesn't give them a white cast. Well, I think this is a really great option and it is 25% off right now. The next product I want to talk about is one that I've never heard of before until my mother-in-law, my umma, taught me about it. And I'm going to put her video right here, which went viral, where she shared her morning and evening skincare routine. She has beautiful skin and she
she's 72, almost turning 73 in two weeks. She looks amazing. And of course, it's a combination of genetics, lifestyle, sun avoidance her whole life, diet, and also how she takes care of her skin. But when she was talking to me about her AM and PM skincare routine, she introduced me to this product. And then I found out that it actually has a cult following. So this is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, and it's infused with olive oil and vitamin E as its main components. And it is the first step of your double cleanse. So usually for a double cleanse, you wash with an oil-based cleanser to remove all your oil-based things like sunscreen, makeup, and then you follow that up with a water-based cleanser. And that's exactly what my mother-in-law does. So she first uses this DHC oil-based cleanser, uses it to take off all her sunscreen and makeup, dirt, grime, sweat, whatever. And then she follows up with, in her case, she uses the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, I believe is the one that she told me and showed in her video. I'll link to her full video below if you're interested. But she has been using this DHC cleansing oil for a very long time. And she says she really likes it because it leaves her skin feeling hydrated. Like it doesn't strip her skin. And she has told me, and also in videos that we've made together, that one of her biggest skin issues is dryness and eczema. And she's had this her entire life. Ever since she was a little girl, she has struggled with dry skin, especially during the winters. So she swears by this oil. I personally was able to try a little bit of it. And I think it's really awesome. I know I talked about the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm as a luxurious oil-based cleansing balm, but this one is a much more affordable yet still very effective cleansing oil if you like oils more than balms. So go ahead and give this one a try if you've been looking for a good cleansing oil. Another product I wanted to highlight is a sunscreen, the Isden Arifatona Actinica Ultra Lightweight Sunscreen. I don't know if I got that full name correct because it's a very long name, but that's the basic gist of it. This actually is my mother-in-law's chosen sunscreen as well. I gifted this to her a few years ago and she got hooked. She says that it's the only sunscreen that helps to actually moisturize her dry skin and keep it moisturized through the day. So the reason why I love this sunscreen is because of the science behind it. Well, multiple reasons. One, the science behind it, it contains DNA repair enzyme, which is photolyase, which can actually help undo some of that damage from UV rays. Secondly, it is a mineral sunscreen with 11% zinc oxide, but it rubs in with no white cast. Now, you know, I like mineral sunscreens, chemical sunscreens. I don't discriminate. I think they're both great, but what I don't like are mineral sunscreens that leave a white cast. So I'm always on the surface for a good mineral sunscreen that rubs in really easily. So this is one of the few that isn't tinted that doesn't leave a white cast. In fact, I'm wearing it today. And you would maybe think, why would you choose to wear a non-tinted mineral sunscreen, Dr. Park? Well, in some instances, I want to follow up my sunscreen with either tinted moisturizer or foundation if I'm going full out and wanna do my makeup that day. So sometimes I don't want to do a tinted sunscreen followed by a tinted moisturizer or a tinted sunscreen followed followed by foundation. It's like too much color on my face and sometimes the colors of the sunscreen and the foundation don't even match. So sometimes I just wanna use a white base, just a white sunscreen, a white mineral sunscreen or chemical sunscreen, but one that doesn't leave a white cast. So that's why for me, this is Din Arifatona Actinica sunscreen is so important because of the science that supports the DNA repair enzymes behind it and also the fact that it rubs in so easily and does not leave me looking like Casper the Ghost. So I made two videos recently about my rosacea, one talking about a rosacea friendly skincare routine and one talking about a skincare routine that's suitable for hot, humid weather. And the impetus for this video was because I was in Singapore for World Congress of Dermatology. I'll link all those videos below. And my rosacea was flaring out of control. My redness was just, oh my gosh. It was like I had been drinking alcohol or something. My cheeks were always so flushed. I was having bumps, acne-like rosacea bumps all over my nose and my cheeks. And so I've been on a quest to find rosacea friendly, anti-inflammatory, calming skincare for my very actively flaring rosacea. So one of these products that I started trying during this period when my rosacea was very active is the SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Gel. This contains thyme, cucumber, and olive oil extract. These are botanicals that can kind of calm down and help soothe the skin. It also contains eucalyptus leaf and also hyaluronic acid. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, if you have rosacea, why are you putting essential 
essential oils on your skin. I would say this depends on everyone's sensitivity. So if you have a sensitivity to essential oils, just like if you have a sensitivity to fragrance, then don't use it. For me, even though I have sensitive skin, I don't react to fragrance and I don't react to essential oils. So I was okay with this product. And I found that this product, this gel, went on really smoothly. It didn't sting my sensitive skin and my damaged skin barrier, which was probably dry from flying 20 plus hours from Singapore to New York in the middle of July. But this gel just glided on really smoothly. It was very hydrating. It absorbed quickly. And I felt like it did help calm down some of my inflammation. Now, I also paired this with two other products, I guess you could call it. One was a prescription of azelaic acid and niacinamide. And it is a prescription because it's azelaic acid at 15%, which you can only get through a doctor's office. And the second product I used, which is not part of this Derm Store anniversary sale, is from Skin Fix. It's a redness recovery overnight mask, which I love. And I'm going to continue using. It's kind of like a gel. It's a green gel mask that you put on as your moisturizer overnight. It feels so good. It's cooling, anti-inflammatory, very soothing. And I'll link to that as well. Last but not least, I just wanted to throw in a quick hair recommendation. My hair has totally been transformed by Olaplex. I had heard all about the hype before, but I had never tried the products myself until earlier this year. And I will be continuing to purchase these products on my own. Like I will be a customer for life. I really like their bond repairing shampoo, their number four shampoo, and then their conditioner, which is their number five. And what makes their products so special is their patented bond repairing technology. So this goes back to a little bit of chemistry, thinking about how your hair is held together. So your hair is made up of protein called keratin. And just to really, really simplify it a lot, the keratin is all arranged in these long chains and cables. And these long cables are all twisted together and held together by disulfide bonds. And we have millions of these bonds all over our hair. It's what gives our hair its shape, its structure, its integrity. And when our hair is damaged by combing it, pulling it like mechanical stress, by UV damage, by heat damage, like if you're using a curling iron or a hair straightener on high without any type of heat protectant, what happens to your hair is the disulfide bond gets broken. And once that bond is broken, the bad thing that can happen, that free sulfur hydrogen molecule can then pair with three oxygen molecules, causing a compound known as SO3 or cystic acid. Cystic acid can then be harmful to the hair. So Olaplex came up with and patented this molecule called bis-aminopropyl diglocal dimaliate. That was a mouthful. And what that does is that will then pair with the sulfur hydrogen molecule instead of having it pair with the oxygen so that it forms something that's more stable that doesn't actually damage your hair, if that makes sense. This is very simplified. You can read more about it on the Olaplex website. But what I can say is that when I use Olaplex products, my hair really does feel so much softer, stronger, less dry and brittle, less damaged. I do feel like the more I use it, the more it helps to repair my hair. And I like to use it together, the shampoo and the conditioner for maximum effects. And if you guys are interested in hair science, I can put together more videos about it. I will link to one video below where I talked about whether sulfate free or not is actually a marketing term. So please don't forget to check that one out too. Okay, so that was a really quick tour through some products that I like that are included as part of the Derm Store anniversary sale. Please let me know if you enjoy any of these products or if there's any other products that you're eyeing as part of the sale that you might want me to review. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of cool content coming out for you soon and can't wait. Until next time.